Hey guys, we're Ryan and Abby Davis, and this is Lost Among Locals. Ryan's a school teacher, and I'm a nurse, and for the last 14 years, we've just been doing all the normal merry things. We flipped a couple of houses, went to work every day, and just traveled in our spare time. But we always had a dream of traveling the world full time. We just love meeting the people of Earth. So this year we decided to make that happen. We sold our big house and all of our stuff, bought some travel gear, and now we're on the road. So follow along with our adventures as we get lost among the locals of the world. Hey Lost Ones. Hey guys. Ryan and Abby here. So we are finally gonna get you that video that we've been promising <laughs> you for three weeks. Oh my goodness, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, for the last couple of weeks, we've just been hanging out with family, kind of playing it low-key, tying up some loose ends before we head out on the big adventure. Done some things here around Arkansas that we're yeah. going to have videos for you pretty soon. Some pretty exciting stuff, but yeah, but yeah just keeping it pretty low-key. But today we decided, since we weren't doing much, we would go ahead and film the What's in Our Bag video. And this is the electronic edition, so without further ado, let's talk about what's in the bag. <laughs> First, let's talk about the bag. So, I did a lot of shopping lots, to find lots, this guy. Lots. I ended up finding it on eBags. It is a bag smart bag. Um, I had lots of requirements for my bag. <laughs> First of all, it had to be waterproof, and this one is water resistant. It also has a waterproof bag that zips out from down here and covers the whole thing should you get in trouble, which we already, <laughs> which we already have, had to use, so yeah. we've already made oh, great use out of that. Um, also has lots of great pockets, little areas to, <laughs> Hey, there's that thing. There it is. Oh, we've been looking for that. Yeah, we needed that the other day. There it yeah. is. Yeah. Um, it doesn't matter how many gray pockets you have if you forget where you put <laughs> stuff. So anyway, got lots of storage pockets there, one here. Um, my second requirement was that I wanted it to have an easy access side panel where I could get in and grab my camera quickly. Um, so it does have that from this yeah. side. <laughs> Obviously the camera's not in there because we're filming on it. But. <laughs> Thirdly, I needed it to have some really good back support. Um, so um, this one has a hip strap, which was necessary for me. I carry this as my personal item. Yeah. It is personal item size right at the tippy top, but it does <laughs> fit under the pushing chair. The so pushing the limits. Um, so when I carry it, I do love to have this hip strap. It has good lumbar support. It's nice and like dry wick back here. So it's it stays nice and dry. Got a hidden security pocket for all those things you don't want people getting yeah. their hands on. Um, and then it also has a chest strap, which Ryan yeah, enjoys like when he strap. carries it. He uses the chest strap. So, got a little roll top for storage, some extra clothes or something up in here. Tripod storage on the side. Yeah. All right, let's get to the end. <laughs> oh, my last, my last had to have was that it be TSA ready. I don't like taking all my stuff out of the bag. I'm lazy it's when it comes annoying. to that. So I wanted so one that folds all the way out flat, which this one yeah. does. So it folds out completely flat, has an extra little waterproof barrier kind of thing here. And then there's all of our goodies, which we'll get to. So laptop strap is on this side, a couple more little mesh yeah. bags for cords and things like that. So let's get to what's inside, <laughs> starting with this bad boy. All right. So we got the Dell XPS 15. I did, I did lots of research also, and this one you get the more bang for the buck from a lot of your computers. It's a gaming computer, it's got a, a high graphics card, it's fast, gigahertz, it's quick, be able to do our videos and get them uploaded as fast as possible. So we really needed this one to be a big performance one for us. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, we had this for about six months. Um, we like it a yeah. lot. It oh, was I've... this or the Mac is what it came down to and we've never used a no. Mac so we just went with this one. Yep. So far it's been awesome. Had no trouble with it yeah. at all. So that one cost about $16.90 or it did when we bought it. So it is a big purchase but so far it's been worth it. Oh absolutely. My computer is the opposite <laughs> end of the spectrum. This is the Asus VivoBook Thinline Flip. So it's basically a tablet with a keyboard. Um, it does this little flippy thing. You can use it like a tablet. Flippy thing, that's good. Good terminology. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not a technology person. Um, so this one runs about $3.99. I mostly use this for Facebook and editing photos in Lightroom. Um, it weighs ounces, so it's great for travel, and I'm happy with it. It works yeah. fine for me. Um, 
in the bag. So while we're getting this stuff out, I will tell you the camera we use is a Sony a7 III. We'll show that to you here in just a little bit because obviously we're filming on it. So um, we're going to show you some of the attachments and stuff that yeah. go with it though. All right. So I have a drone here. We went through a lot of trouble to get a drone. Oh, crazy, crazy enough. And this is the DJI Mavic Mini. Uh, I got this one because it's super lightweight. I mean, it weighs like 249. And I think the regulation to actually have to register thing is 250. So I don't necessarily have to register this, but I do have to follow the FFA guidelines to fly in this. So be responsible. Rolls, but, rolls, rolls. But this thing is just super light. Uh, so we got also bought the Fly More package with this which comes with three batteries. So we don't have to worry about running out of battery and it falling into the water. So <laughs> we're gonna be real careful with that. Lots of different wires and connectors to our phones and computers and to charge it. And it comes with a remote. And this remote, of course, make, I really wanted that. I wanted to just play around with my phone. I wanted to be able to use a joystick like a video game. So <laughs> yeah, I like playing video games. So this is about $4.99, somewhere around there. So it was actually a really good price for what we needed it for. So. Yeah. All right, so this guy is our action camera. Of course, the GoPro. This is the GoPro Hero 7. They do have an 8 now. We had this one for a little while. We bought it a um, year and a half ago or so probably. for a Costa Rica trip. Yeah. Um, the great things about the Hero 7 Black and probably the 8 II is that it has great internal stabilization. Oh, so you can run, jump, flip, swim, whatever with this thing. And the video is smooth and awesome. It yeah. actually takes pretty decent photos too. Like it's, it's pretty good it's, little camera. And it's also waterproof. So oh, yeah. you don't have to do the waterproof case. Now we right. might get that anyways because it does, if you go so deep, it may have yeah, problems. Yeah, you but, scuba with it, you know. Yeah, but that's, it's waterproof, so it's great. Yeah. A couple extra batteries in there. And then these two guys, the wrist strap and the kind of selfie pole. Um, this one has a little extra storage in the yeah. bottom, which is kind of nice. You stick some, I don't know, candy in there. <laughs> Get you hungry. Skittles. Um, and these both float. Um, so your GoPro doesn't end up at the bottom of the ocean, which is really good for me because I'm, I'm pretty good at losing stuff. So <laughs> right, there's that. Oh, this guy. Ryan likes this guy. Yes. Uh, with all this electronics, of course, we need to charge it. And not there's, sometimes where we stay at places, you're not going to have a whole lot of plugins. And so I did a lot of research on a compact one that's really good. This has six plugins. It also has four USB. So we should be able to plug in all of our phones, computers, everything, and charge it at once. This is also a surge protector because we don't want this stuff getting fried. When we invested into it, we don't want it to get ruined that way. Right. And so this was pretty cheap. This was like 14, 16 bucks, somewhere around there. So. Yeah. really works really well so to go with that guy we have this guy this is our converter and um, this is a multi-nation converter all in one little box we used to have a bag that had all these plugs oh, in it and it, they're just hard to keep some, up with and lose and, some. And yeah it, it took up too much space yeah. it was a pain in the rear um but obviously electricity is not the same everywhere american electricity is different than the rest of the world so we want to make sure that we're not frying our stuff so this guy just has little notches for each nation that pops out the correct um, plug-in and then American plug on this side so it converts yeah. the energy so that you don't fry your stuff yeah you don't want that to happen mm -mm. all right let's oh this guy this is our external hard drive it is a Seagate it's a five terabyte so it's kind of a big boy it's kind of heavy um, but it's necessary yeah Ryan's absolutely from, you know all the all the video footage and our camera takes raw photos so it takes up a lot of space so this guy this guy is invaluable this is hundred and forty five dollars ish um, but worth it oh yeah all right let's move on to some of the camera stuff so this guy it's kind of disappointing. Yeah. Um, this is a Samyang 18 millimeter. This is what we usually film our video on. Um, but we've only used this thing like maybe five or six times and it decided to start making this rattling noise on the camera yesterday. And every video that we took uh -huh. was rattly. And after some troubleshooting, we figured out it was the lens. So can't super recommend this, but we did call into customer service today. So, so we'll let you know what they say. Maybe they're awesome. Maybe they're gonna fix it for us. Um, but anyway, this is a 2.8 FE 18mm uh, prime um, wide angle lens. This runs about $399. Yeah. Also got a just a cheap old flash. Yeah. Don't use that much. Don't use it much, but it's good to have. A couple extra batteries. Yeah. And then this guy. This guy <laughs> is not cheap. Nope. 
Um, so this is our zoom lens. This is the Sony G series 70 to 300. It's heavy. It's big. Not super appropriate <laughs> for travel but necessary. Yeah. These guys have great internal stabilization. They have steady shot. They have autofocus. They're they're great. This is a FE 4.5 to 5.7. Um, this is the OSS series from Sony. This guy runs I got this for $900 because nice. I bought it used um, from a trusted website. So um, we're hoping that this guy's going to be great. It looks like it's an amazing shape. Oh, yeah. um, no problems that we can see so far. So we're going to hope that it stays that way. Um, so, yeah, we knew that, that that's a big purchase. Uh -huh. um, pretty much. All right, guys, that's pretty, pretty much, much it, yeah. it for what's in our bag. So if you'll give us just a second, we're going to swap over and show you the actual camera that we are shooting on. Okay guys, let's get to the big boy. This is our Sony a7 III. Again, I did a lot of shopping for this guy and I really do love it. This is a 24 megapixel full frame digital camera, mirrorless. So you kind of get the stats of a big DSLR, but not the weight. It is a touch screen. And this screen does articulate as well, comes out and so that's handy. Takes wonderful still photos, especially in low light, which was a big deal for us because we love museums and that sort of thing. So, um, and we've always been disappointed with our photos in the past. So this, this will help out a lot with that. This also shoots 4K video, has optical steady shot in the camera and in the lens. So helps us keep it from bumping around. This shoots 30 minutes of continuous video, which there's a few cameras out there that shoot more. This, that is kind of a downfall, but it's it's pretty common in most of these cameras. Um, there is a 7R, which is a 40 megapixel, a little bit bigger and better, but for the price, this was just work, what worked best for us for video and for weight and price and still shot. It's just a great all around camera. The menu system is a little complicated and we're still <laughs> getting the hang of it, but we're going to get there eventually. Um, this is the kit lens that came with it. It is just a Sony 28 to 70 zoom kit lens, nothing special. We don't usually use this one very much, but we're using it today since our other one is on the fritz. Um, this guy is our Joby Gorilla Pod. This is the medium size one. This one runs about $50. With the Joby Pods, you have to pick the one that will support your camera and lens weight. So you kind of just have to look at how much weight you're carrying. We like this guy. Obviously, it works as a standard tripod. It also can fold down into a selfie stick. So when we're vlogging, Ryan carries this booger. I do not because it's heavy. Um, but So it works as a selfie stick. And then also, if you're doing something athletic, it can wrap around a tree or a rock face or whatever you need it to do to hang on tight and keep your camera steady, protected, and level. So we, we love this guy, about $50. Oh, I didn't tell you, the camera cost with the kit lens about $2,000. Um, and then this is our Rode video mic. I forget how much it runs. Um, and it's got this little dead cat guy on it. <laughs> uh, this makes us sound as good as we look. So it um, helps muffle wind and all that kind of stuff. The sound on the Sony is not bad, but this is just definitely way better. So that kind of wraps up all of our camera gear and equipment again we will link all this stuff down below for you guys check out those links hit up our amazon help us out um, and also help us out by hitting that subscribe button ring the bell push all the buttons so that you get our next videos and we will see you guys next time now get lost